So for question 1a, um, part 1b, uh, assuming we've drawn the question, drawn the diagram correctly, we can use uh, either one of two methods to solve this problem. One, we can solve it by trigonometry, which is the method I will show you here, or another method is to draw a scale diagram. A scale diagram would mean that you'd have to ensure that this length here was drawn either as 13.8 centimetres or the half of that. This was drawn as 18.4 centimetres or the half of that and they were drawn at right angles and therefore this here would be either 23 centimetres or the half of it as well if you choose uh, a scale of 0.5. Um, and then you could determine by uh, using a protractor what the angle is right here. However, I'm going to show you today the trigonometry method. So the simple way to do this would be to figure out what is the angle that's happening in here. Let's call this angle theta. And uh, the simple rule that we would use, the trig rule, would be uh, the tan of theta is the opposite over the adjacent of that angle. And the opposite is 184 and the adjacent is 138. So the tan of theta would be 184 over 138. And when we solve that for theta, we get 53.1 degrees. Now given that this is uh, a bearing from north, what we're going to have to do is draw a um, north arrow here. So that's north. And actually what we need to do is to determine what is the total bearing from north. Well, we know that this angle here is 90 degrees. And we've just determined that the th angle theta is 53.1 degrees. And therefore, that the direction of the um, 230 newton force would be 90 plus 53.1, which is 143 uh, as a bearing. Um, there are other options. You could um, describe the angle uh, as 53 degrees south of east or 37 degrees east of south, but the most standard version is to use uh, a compass bearing of 143. You don't need to add a degree symbol um, to 143. However, if you do, I don't think you'd be penalised.